Hello, hello tribe, welcome back. So today's reading will be extended on Patreon in case you needed more information and let's get to it. Now I'm gonna be showing you these cards, three options from close up. See if you resonate with the texture, um, if there is something that you visually see and let's get to it. Pile number one option. There, it is a little bit glossy. Pile number two. And pile number three. So choose yours. As usual, I'm going to see in times times. Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one, let's see what is the unexpected for you here today. The next thing that is happening, you have the six of wands, which is amazing to get here. Let me just sit with these two cards and let's see what we are getting. Mm -hmm. I feel like what this is talking about, the next chapter of your life, you may expect to be quite busy, very focused and very determined. Either this is a project or a goal of yours that you want to tick off your list, you want to achieve, you want to succeed at. And it feels to be very important for you personally. I'm hearing something that I set myself out to do. I will get there anyways. And what your cards are saying that you will. So it's not really an unexpected here for a lot of you. Um, what I'm getting with this is that that success is going to be bigger than you expect. Um, that's part of the unexpected for pile number one. But overall, there is a lot of abundance in the air. A lot of abundance I'm seeing someone being invited to a luxurious looking event now i'm jumping into specifics here so you're gonna have to know what's yours and what's not i'm seeing someone being invited to a place that looks rich feels rich uh, people who are also invited there they're very talented there is something to do with an environment that you might be a part of that is very inspiring let's see what else some of you might already be noticing bees wasps and um, this is not something that it's the way they approach you it's not regular it's not normal maybe you see them too often lately um i feel like you're getting hints already what's about to happen and what's about to happen is going to make you really really happy um, you're going to be really proud of yourself you're feeling successful what's also important i feel like for pile number one is that your circle circle of people will be there to celebrate with you whatever this accomplishment is they are there to celebrate with you um, they might even throw like a surprise party for you you might not see this coming to celebrate something that you have achieved let's pull more cards shall we let's see the unexpected pile number one And I'm going to be using the Steampunk Tarot. What's happening for pile number one that they don't see coming? There's going to be like um, that 
the period of time where you're gonna feel really lucky everything is gonna flow your way this might be the surprise factor for you one good thing after another and I'm getting number three within three months time whenever you're watching this video maybe this has started for some of you I think you won't cop on at first you will start copping on what is happening maybe the second time something great happens and um, you're like damn everything all at once Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. I cannot believe this. Six of Wands twice. Whatever this is, guys, this is great. Some of you are getting married, engaged. I'm seeing here. Or meeting a person that you were looking for. So see when I am relaying messages here see which one sticks to you which one feels right to you because there's many people watching these readings i want to say it feels like i am very happy for what has come my way or for who has come my way if you look at the six of wands here there is people looking at this person from a balcony this is someone who is visible someone's someone who is accomplished and everyone is looking at them as a winner and that seems to be happening in your own life would it be succeeding in relationship uh, being over over the moon of how things are going would it be your own project or goal that you set yourself out to do overall all eyes on you all eyes on you pile number one what is happening here we are seeing someone who is very accomplished. We're seeing someone who is very interesting to look at, and this is you. Uh, someone who captivates other people's attention. If you're working on social media, if you're seeking for visibility, it is happening. It seems like you're out there. People can see you. People want what you're offering. People want to listen to you. People can relate to you. If you are seeking for more visibility as a creator, I would say your key moment will be relatability authenticity and relatability that's what's bringing it in success for a lot of others i'm seeing someone who looks good who smells good who knows that they have done well and there is a sense of pride and um, there is going to be a celebration connected to this either you are organizing it yourself or someone else is organizing it behind your back and um, I feel like you are going to expect quite a lot of attention so be ready for that a lot of attention would it be on social media would it be in your everyday life people want to talk to you people want to invite you places um, be determining be uh, discerning when it comes to who you want to hang with because it's really important for pile number one to have a strong support system not to have people who are just there for the good part of the ride and I think partially that's how you get into where you want to be here um, your success is also connected to the people who surround you having that strong support system is incredibly important here and I'm seeing you thanking someone who is who was very important on that journey to, su to succeed in what you want here overall you're feeling over the moon now let's pull from the um, steampunk keeper deck and let's see let's be a little bit more specific here in which area of your life pile number one are you successful here what are you winning at what are you winning at for some of you this is connected to a relationship with maybe someone who's a bit more mature than you age-wise or 
you want it to succeed because whoever is watching you, if that is a business situation, if you have a boss, you are going to feel super amazing accomplishing whatever you're accomplishing because someone who is very important is watching your moves and watching your success and they are somehow very important in your life or when it comes to your future endeavors. They have some sort of power. If we talk in business, if we talk in romantic, um, there is a really nice commitment that is being shown here, very strong commitment that we are seeing in the cards. In which area of your life are you succeeding here, pan number one? Mm -hmm. Setting yourself free from any difficulties that you've had before or if you felt restricted in the past, we are not feeling that way anymore. Some of you might be working in a job that has something to do with maybe government, something to do with um, prison, something to do with dealing with people who are troubled or who come from a troubled background. If that's the case, this is your career that is being shown progressing, okay? Right, what area of life? And I'm splitting you here, as you can see, into groups so that you could see how this ties into your life. Yeah, overcoming any difficulties. It feels like a difficult period of time is over and done with. Now what, what you are inviting is this extended period of time of happiness and success after success after success. It's enough. Um, enough of lessons I'm getting. You've already learned quite a lot of lessons when we're speaking about karmic lessons, when we're speaking about soul growth, right? In order for the soul to... to um, what was the word I'm looking for? to elevate, I, I like that word to upgrade, right? Um, we need to have a body so that we can feel things. Soul needs a body in order to learn, in order to proceed, in order to, I wanna open my arms, in order to grow. And there was a period of time before where you probably were hit by a less, lesson after lesson and they were not enjoyable and uh, what you're stepping into next is this very light-hearted very fun very successful period of time so I'm going to extend this on Patreon we're gonna look at all other things that I'll feel drawn to looking at every pile might be different so I don't want to ask specific questions and if you want to join me there and for the rest of you have a beautiful week bye for now Hello, tribe. Pile two. Let's see. The unexpected. What do we have here today? We have the moon, the silver shadow reflector. This is El Goliath deck, by the way, and this is just handmade deck of mine. Let me look at this image for a minute. Let's see what I'm getting. As usual, be discerning what feels that it is for you because I might be tapping into specific scenarios here. And let's get to it. Mm, okay, this is going to be a, a very interesting pile, <laughs> to say the least. What I'm going to say, for some of you it will not make sense, but it will make sense in the future. The part of the unexpected is that you don't see a presence next to you. Well, this doesn't feel, the pre this presence doesn't feel like... Um, a dense or dark entity and this feels like a loved one's presence there is a presence of a soul next to you that you're going to notice either you're going to be shown that for a dream um, that person's consciousness will come through in a dream either you're going to be shown that in your home something supernatural may happen that draws your attention and it's gonna hit you 
who that is you're gonna understand who that is because they will give you a hint themselves who whoever this person is this is your, from your ancestor line or if that is not part of your ancestors um this is an ancestor of someone who is really really close to you and they might want to send a message through you to them and because a lot of you are intuitives here you are a vessel for them to talk to this other person but for most of you this is someone who is from your own family line I don't know if you've met this person or if they passed um, before you were born um, but it feels important here it feels like they are trying to show themselves to you or somehow get your attention because they're coming with some sort of a message they come in with a good heart and there is good energy coming from them but maybe you are not getting it um, so pay attention to the signs symbols um, smells that are familiar to you if that's a scent you will know that it's their scent their perfume or the pie that you they used to bake or the food that they used to make um, there might be sounds as well for, for a couple of you but I'm not picking that up much so let's get to it let's see what else this is like a main message here for pile number two uh, we might be tapping into a couple of different stories we will see or we might remain here and talk a little bit more about this spirit let's see what comes through i'm gonna be using the haunted house tarot the unexpected <clears throat> hmm okay A lot of fire here six and four of wands two of pentacles Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Pile number two. Um, what is happening next as part of the unexpected bottom of a deck, nine of cups? Good stuff. Um, you are going to find out in, in some unique way how protected you really are. If you look at these two cards right here, there is this sense of protection that I'm getting. These people over here, it seems like they're protecting that person. These people over here, they're hy hyping up this woman who they look up to. By the same time, it feels like they are protecting her. Eight of Pentacles, look at the symbolism here. Um, you're going to see a situation unfold where, for example, someone, I don't know, someone could have fell, but they miraculously didn't because of something that was in the way or someone who was passing by and caught them. That is the most basic, simple example I can give you to make sense of what I am feeling here. Um, someone is understanding the level of protection that they have. Someone's protection is also imagine that shield invisible energetic shield around you right it's strengthening almost like to the point where we are becoming what's the word i'm looking for fearless and you know it's, it's funny to say that because we all have fears but in this context i hope you understand what i mean here we know that we are looked after and we recognize through the signs, through our dreams, pile number two, it's going to be very surprising because a lot of you are intuitives here and you might think that you, and you know what I'm talking about, but wait for it. You might not have a clue what the spirit is about, 
you might not have a clue how this will pan out to be there is a surprise factor like oh my god you know what just hit me or you know what I just realized this is insane and then you start looking back at all the signs that you were getting before that you didn't understand that they were signs that are connecting to this situation what you are seeing here today by the way for some of you what the spirit wants to say here your finances and your dreams are being protected so there is no need to worry and it's gonna be shown in some way the next week week and a half for you more or less give it give it more or less two weeks from now there's gonna be a for some of you that sign will be subtle for others of you not so much <laughs> okay Yeah, what is happening here, you are avoiding dramatic situations or situations that you're not supposed to be in. And um, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. For example, someone forgets to include you in a chat. Again, I'm going I'm to give you the most basic example here. Forgets to include you in a chat where in that chat people are deciding on a venue, which venue they're choosing for a get together and the time. And somehow, very miraculously, you're not in a chat and it's not like a bad intention or anything. Someone have just completely forgotten about it or they have missed, misclicked. And um, you end up not going to that event or that get together. And at first you might feel like I was backstabbed. This is this sucks, right? This sucks. I really wanted to see these people. Maybe I haven't seen them for a long time. Um, by the end of the day, you go, damn, I've avoided a very complicated situation. For example, drama goes down, okay, or something dramatic happens there, or I don't know. You hear news that that night was really bad something really bad has happened but because you are not included in the chat you didn't go right um there was something to do with that you being saved from um, situations that you're not meant to be in in very mysterious ways and more and more you go into observe situations like that the more you will be able to see how protected you actually are so whatever happens in the future, you're not taking it as I wasn't given an opportunity. You're taking, taking it in as, mm-hmm, why? You're very observant. You're very self-reflective. And I like it very much here, part number two. You're very tapped in. You're very tapped in. Someone is also, I'm seeing, taking a chance on their dream or the wish that they have. They wanted to accomplish something for a long time. They have taken a minute in order to do some soul searching here to see if they really want to take that risky move. Um, to make that risky move, they have taken a time to reflect on what kind of structure they have, what kind of life maybe they want to live. And uh, what is happening next here, we're seeing someone fighting for what they want. But it's, fighting is not the right word for me here. It feels like claiming what they what they want claiming what they deserve that's more that's better word you're also going to see that someone who creates more chaos would it be energetic or would be chaos overall you know um intentional and intentional doesn't matter who creates chaos in your surroundings or in your life um, is going to be removed out of your circle and again, there is a sense of like, okay, thank you for that. There, I don't see any like, oh my God, imagine this person, this and that happened between uh, me and them. We're not talking anymore. Or however, they are being removed from your life. There, there isn't that sense of like sadness to it. There is a sense of acceptance. I understand why. So the more you are going through life, the more you understand how everything ties in. And uh, some of you might notice how 
weird it is and you might even want to write about it you might even want to talk about it but more or less i feel like for most of you you are putting it somewhere your experiences or your thoughts either you're writing it down on a notepad um, on your computer you're making a video out of it there is some sort of documentation happening about the mysterious events that are that is leading you somewhere i hope this is making sense pile number two it's a very mysterious reading and um, quite spiritual supernatural mystical um, and I love it. So I'm going to see what else is happening here behind the scenes on Patreon. If you want the extended, find me on the other side. All the links are down below. And for the rest of you, have a beautiful week. And thanks for being here. Hello, pal number three. Let's see. The unexpected. What do we have for you here? You have the Four of Wands um, in this El Golav deck. It's called the Beaming Vessel. Let me sit with this for a minute and let's see. I'm seeing someone flying. Um, maybe someone is flying to a destination that they always wanted to visit. I'm going to jump into specific to be discerning what's for you, what's not. I'm also seeing a part of an expected. Someone is getting news that they are pregnant and they might be pregnant with twins. I'm seeing more than one uh, baby over here. Um, I'm also seeing a situation where someone has an awakening. I'm getting a spiritual upgrade. It may not feel fun, uh, rainbows and unicorns at the time when it's happening, but the moment you go through that transformation, you will feel like a new person, energetically, emotionally speaking. There is something that is happening within your energy field, your energy body, that makes me think of expansion, makes me think of coming out of a shell, makes me think of freedom. I'm feeling free now. I have went through a transformation. I am grateful for where I am right now. So there are a couple of scenarios that I'm seeing here. Um, one more thing as part of the unexpected I'm seeing someone getting married not that this is unexpected um, hopefully someone knows who they're marrying but I mean different cultures different things right but in this case um, what I meant by that you may receive news that someone is getting married and you're gonna be like oh my god or you may hear that someone is proposed to maybe this is you part of the unexpected okay there is a surprise factor here what we don't see and we're happy about it with the four of wands let's get tarot and let's see what we have here i'm seeing someone's relationship moving really um fast as well The unexpected palfrey. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Someone is becoming a mother, I'm telling you. Or someone is being reconnected with their mother. It doesn't matter if she's alive or deceased. Um, connection may happen in different ways physical or energetic let's see the unexpected six of swords let me adjust the camera slightly for you um, again I'm getting this message that someone is taking a trip here they haven't planned it just yet. Um, I feel like it's a spontaneous trip that someone is taking. You have four of wands twice here. There is a sense of gratitude here. What is happening next? I'm feeling good where I am. This pile is very connected to location. 
where am I going? If a, a lot of you are wondering where you want to be physically, where you want to live, if you want to change your household, if you want to change the region, the country. I feel like you get an, an idea where you want to be, especially if you are lost in your mind and in, if you had no freaking clue. Um, you get an answer pretty soon. But wherever, wherever it is, it feels further away from where you are now. It's not like an hour to drive. It feels further away. It can be a different country. And uh, one particular place is calling your name. Maybe you're going to jump on a plane, on a train, in a car and going to visit that place first before making up your mind. As part of the unexpected too, what I'm seeing, remember how I talked about relationship moving fast? Uh, someone is, see if this is your scenario, but it's not, um, because I'm jumping between scenarios here. Um, someone is, someone is having a family, but the way that relationship uh, moves, it's pretty swift. One minute uh, we're dating, the second minute we already live together, third minute we are already looking at buying a home together, um, we are pregnant and so on and on. It's very quick. Let's look at this scenario here. The Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Okay, if someone had an issue, mental, emotional issue, some sort of burden, um, they were tired, they were exhausted, they wanted to get out of their head, they wanted changes. Those changes are happening. Those changes are happening. We are not stuck in our heads no more. We're finding decisions. If you struggled mentally, emotionally, you're feeling much lighter. But there is a transformation that is taking place first, energetically speaking, in order for you to feel better. We have to purge something out of the system. We have to completely, I'm seeing almost like things are being shifted, you know, um, behind the scene, energetically speaking, everything is being slightly shifted. So at that time when you are learning how to live in this different energy, that time transformative time might be a little bit challenging. You may feel spaced out. You may feel like, you don't know what's happening make sure you sleep well or you sleep or you give yourself enough sleep during that time um you eat well and the rest will flow the wet the rest will fall into its places okay the unexpected pile number threes i wanted to say two maybe some of you were wanted to look at both you have a star, you have the nine of wands, you have the emperor. Someone is becoming a boss. Uh, through the hard work and dedication, someone is becoming a boss that they've always wanted to be. This could be a boss of your own life, right? This could be a boss in a company, this could be a boss in a sense of I have my own business and I am successful. Yes, um, there was blood blood and tears I'm seeing here with the nine of wands, but I have made it happen. Most of you, how are you going to feel about this unexpected event? One of them or all of them maybe, depending where you are in life. Okay, the devil reversed and I'm feeling it reversed. You're going to feel that some of the habits that you've had before that were not beneficial to you, that you were unconscious of, even, I would say with the moon reverse, right? It's being made conscious. Some of the habits that you had or some of the behavior that wasn't beneficial to you or someone who maybe was in your circle who whose behavior was affecting you in a bad way or in a really emotional stressful way it's being over and done with um, there is some sort of heaviness that is leaving our system here but it's very connected to behavior so there are changes happening to our behavior or the path that we are choosing next i hope this is making sense so i'm gonna dive deeper extend this reading on patreon if you want to join me there and as usual thank you very much for being here and have a beautiful week bye for now